everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is some beautiful stuff right here. What is this? Some purple cauliflower. Is it? Yep, that's also cauliflower. And then I've got your favorite here. Broccoli. We've got some um, celery, some chives. Would you like to eat a chive, Dolly? Good stuff. <laughs> We've also got a bunch of collard greens and some Swiss chard and then all this beautiful the herbs that I picked. Look at this beautiful rosemary. And then all the tomatoes that we got out of the garden. We need to make some more salsa. That'd be delicious. Do you like salsa? I yeah. Like salsa. It's delicious, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna make dinner with these goodies that we got out of the garden. We're not gonna use them all up, but this is going to inspire the menu for tonight. Though. We got our giant broccoli cauliflower. <laughs> it's not giant, but it's nice and pretty and it's well, organic and it was free. This is giant. So if you've ever grown a garden, you always know that there's always stuff that you don't put away, that you bring in, you put in your fridge, and maybe you forget about. I hate to not use something. I hate to let anything go to waste. And my fridge is packed with all the pickles I made and pickled eggs and all the other goodies I have going on. So we are going to do a garden-inspired menu tonight. So please, cook dinner with me. It'll be delicious. You'll also want to get your water going for your pasta. If you've ever grown Swiss chard, it just keeps producing. You pick and it keeps producing. Some bread goes delicious with this recipe. So I have um, two French loaves rising right now, rosemary and garlic. And I did a video on that recipe. It's really delicious and easy. And it goes great with this pasta dish I'm doing. We're basically doing a garden chicken fettuccine. And you don't have to use chicken. You could use pork or beef. You could use whatever you wanted. But I'm going to use chicken. I'm using something that is cheap and easy to make. My furry friends in the background are just waiting for me to drop something. You'll see them in all my videos. So we're going to start chopping up this Swiss chard. Chop it up nice and thin. We're gonna saute it. And what I love about Swiss chard is it's a very mild flavored green that takes on the flavor of what you cook it with. We're also gonna use the broccoli and that purple cauliflower from the garden. It was so beautiful. And I'm gonna use my one golden zucchini, um, which they've been really delicious. I wish I'd grown a ton of these babies. I use the stems and all in the Swiss chard. It's all tender. We're gonna get our chives chopped up for the topping of our dish. I live in Alaska and my chives are wild and they just grow like crazy. I've already dehydrated a few jars for the winter for soups. So I'm just trying to use these up fresh. We're gonna get a little bit of our olive oil going in a really hot pan. This is really the only pan I cook with. Um, it's a Lodge cast iron. I love it. Had it for years. It's very seasoned. So we're going to get that nice and hot. So now that our oil is nice and hot, now you could use some bacon fat. You could use some butter to pan fry these if it's unsalted so it won't burn. We're gonna heavily season these because I cannot stand bland chicken. I don't know about you, but that's probably the worst thing out there is some bland chicken. We're adding a ton of garlic. 
lots of pepper, and we are using our Hawaiian, Himalayan, Hawaiian, Himalayan salt. I don't know why I can't ever say that. Himalayan salt, pepper, and garlic. And I've got my pesto out that I did a video on, my garlic chive pesto. We're gonna use that in the pasta, it's gonna be delish. So you're gonna pan fry these babies in the olive oil, not long. We just wanna get some color on them. And after they've pan fried for a couple minutes, I'm gonna add um, probably about two tablespoons of butter in there with it. Yes, more seasoning because like I said, I don't like plain food. I like a lot of flavor on there. A lot of garlic, I'm kind of a garlic freak. So my pasta's cooking in the background. I had the water boiling the whole time I was getting everything ready because what I want to do with that is I'm just going to cook it al dente um, and then we are going to strain it and pour cold water on it and let it chill for a few minutes. That way we don't have mushy pasta. You can't stand mushy pasta. Once the chicken has color on it like this, maybe a few minutes on each side, we're gonna take this out of the pan. So this chicken is done. It has cooked a few minutes on each side, probably about seven on each side. I'm gonna take some butter in the pasta pan and let that, I turned it off, I'm gonna let that butter melt. And I've got some butter in the chicken pan because we're gonna use the flavoring from the chicken that I pan fried and this butter to flavor our vegetables. It'll be delicious. We're gonna go ahead and throw in all our goodies from the garden. Look how beautiful that is. I love doing a garden inspired menu because I didn't have to go to the store for any of this stuff. It was all in my yard. And if you don't have a garden, you could do this with some dandelion greens. You could do this with some veggies that you have in the fridge that you haven't used. Um, that's what I love about just creating a meal out of what you have. After we saute it for a few minutes, we're gonna cover it turn it on low and just let it sit for about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get our pasta ready. Now that we've chilled it, we've poured cold water on it. It's not hot, it stopped cooking. We're gonna get it in that butter. Gotta have that butter on those noodles. I know I saw this challenge, everything counts, every bit counts. Um, this is how you could use everything up from your garden, is just to make a meal based on what you have in abundance. And for some reason, Swiss chard loves me. So we're gonna add a little bit. We're gonna add probably, I think about three tablespoons of the pesto to this pasta. And this is the garlic chive pesto, which was really easy to make also.
Now you don't have to have the pesto. You could just flavor these noodles with some garlic butter. That would be delicious also. I'm just using a lot of the things that I made. Thank you for coming and cooking dinner with me. We're gonna go ahead and plate this up. It's a very simple, fast meal. We have our delicious bread that took the most time here. And that's our rosemary garlic, our pasta. We plated first. We're gonna put the veggies right on top of that pasta. All those delicious veggies and the colors is beautiful. We're gonna place our chicken cutlet right on top there on all those yummy veggies. We're gonna sprinkle the chives that we chopped up for the top. Some Parmesan cheese. You could do some shredded. I just had the grated. And there is a lot of moisture with these veggies, so you don't need a sauce. Thank you, and I hope this inspires you to create a meal from the garden.